All right, kids, we're on the way to Venice. Venice Beach. Italy. Nope. <laughs> Los Angeles. Um, we're just going to go up there, do an interview with one of the founders of Spartan Race. And then he has like another super crazy loco gym um, with like meditation and breathing and mind and body hacking. And it's pretty cool. And then since we're going to Venice, might as well fuck around for a day. Yep. Definitely going to be seeing some cool stuff. Yep. Got a new drone too. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be dope. I can't wait for the drone. We're killing it. Dude, Everything we are today. Driving today? Seriously. Anything driving really is getting murdered today. I'm gonna sample everything in the store, by the way. Yeah, me too. I'm trying to make sure I pay for nothing before I pay for something. Gonna go with these tongs. Just wanna make sure these still taste good. Tell management. Whole Foods. They're so good. <laughs> what are these? You like them eggs, boy? I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this egg for sure before I, before I pay for it. How are you gonna eat it? 100%. I'm just gonna swallow it all. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon and eggs. Yep. When he eats breakfast. Since we've interviewed Mark in uh, Austin, Texas, We've had one model, and that is. <laughs> what would Mark say to do? Also, Ryan and I are definitely gay for Mark. Super gay. <laughs> so here's the question: Are you gayer for Mark or gayer for coffee? I like all of my marks with coffee in their hand, <laughs> if at all possible. If you got it, if you got a key. California king size bed and that's and have some fits in the room that's good. That's all you need. Like a whole like this is almost like a functional art gallery. Like the like all this shit. Oh, this is dope. It's um, actually super dope. Here's like this is like three hundred, like Spartan that we can like I have literally like boxes full of like workout equipment here. I'd like to work out art, like whatever we, we do. We can go to the beach and do like rings and kettlebells was just kind of like a thought because we're so close to Santa Monica and we could go to that like kind of like the green area and it's a lot of like weirdos doing handstands and all that I've fun shit. There. Oh, okay, cool. Um, otherwise, let's, let's go to 34 North and we could crush a workout there. Um, Hold up, John. Yeah, 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 yeah. The spark, the really small spark. Yeah, 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 that's, that's dope. All right, where are we right now? We're at 34 North, one of the dopest gyms on the west side. It's owned by my boy uh, Tanner. Um, it's more of a movement gym, whatever the fuck that means. I mean, it's all movement. But um, it's it's got kettle, tons of kettlebells. It's got tons of rings. It's got this great rack, uh, this bar rack at multiple levels. I like we're about great to do racks. Some, yeah, yeah, I love great racks too. <laughs> we're, about, we're about to have a good time. Yeah, normally I do not. This is gonna be really hard. Yeah, I don't like this. Tell me what's going on. We're gonna do one minute. We're, we're gonna do an IWT, interval weight training. Um, we're gonna go one minute, as many bench press as you can get. We have 185 on the bar. Probably gonna get somewhere between, I don't know, 15, 20 reps, maybe 10, if you're getting tired. And then we're gonna go straight to the bike, one minute, trying to get 20 calories plus. We're gonna do two minute rest, four rounds. Spartans! What is your profession? Fuck your bitch in the click you claim. West side when we ride, come equip with game. You claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. We bust on bad boys, niggas fuck for life. Plus, Puffy trying to see me weak, hearts I rip. Vicky Smalls and Junior Mafia, some mock ass bitches. We keep on coming while we running for your juice, steady. You're the key, we're busting up the season. Grab your clocks when you 
see too bright. Call the cops when you see too bright. Uh, you shot me, but your punch didn't finish. Now you're about to feel the wrath of a menace. Nigga, I hit him. Fuck me. Alright, walk us through. So yeah, I'm gonna show uh, I'm gonna show you guys a quick little MMA flow. Something cool to work with a bag. You just need something laying down on the ground. Gloves would be preferable. We're actually gonna focus on elbows. I'm gonna put my knee on the opponent on the bag, and then I keep my foot like a hook like this. And I have this like based out similar to like a row, bent over row. I'm gonna hold the face, drop elbow to hand, set. Set, set, switch, turn. So this is, uh, here, get this is this is dope. This is uh, this is launch intention. This is my buddy Griffin's place. Uh, independent artist doing some really dope shit next to Paradiso. If you're a CrossFitter, you need to look him up. He's right next door. You see the paper airplane we're about to show you. Friend and he turned uh, this giant tree into our friend's yard into a giant slingshot. Like a sixty foot slingshot. So it's like a sixty foot slingshot. <laughs> no way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's. It, yeah, we got puppers. What's up, buddy? Dude, I think Frankies are so dope. The dopest, dude. They're the only one. Car That's the only dog we're getting. Hi. So tell them what's up uh, with launch intentions. Yeah, so it's a uh, a project based around a paper airplane that kind of naturally takes us back to like imagination, you know, fun times in our lives. And, uh, so and you guys I engage people around it and uh, talk about intentions and then we'll all help each other. And then they make these dope airplanes. Yeah, one of these. And then uh, also do like, that's a 50 foot sculpture. Damn. So Wait, that's real? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. I dig it. I think it's good. Now let it dry. You might. Layer noble tree. Wow, we are in coffee heaven right now. Yeah. Hmm. And, and we, there's we all got, in all the I really made. like the layered stuff. You like layered stuff? The espresso? Oh, I've never actually had their coffee. I've had ish. You want latte? You, you guys go latte route? All right. Ever? Um, we have almond milk in the fridge that we made this morning. That sounds all right. All right, let's get to work. made this morning. Yeah, I'm so what Amelia is a raw vegan chef, she has catering in this neighborhood. Okay, um, all right, oh my god, trying to. So, I'm gonna let you do the honors. I'll go oh, I like it <clears throat> just because when you're when you're doing the espresso machine, you have to earn your coffee. You do because when you're in the espresso, when you're trying to like make your best espresso. You don't want to depend on the grind of your electric grinder. So these bad boys, these are awesome. You can get them on Amazon for 20 bucks. Every step in the process. So I go down there and buy a coffee just to like pick their brain for 10 minutes. And we've taken a lot of those lessons into our home. Wow. Look oh at my it, God, dude, 100%. That's art. That's literally art. All right, take a sip. Tell me exactly what you feel. It's like XVT oil. It's like the, uh, that YouTube thing. Tell me all the emotions you're feeling right now. I just, I believe in the coffee for sure. <laughs> <laughs> International, wow. You know, going from Spain to Australia. Oh man, And awesome. by, uh, by about October, I was so fried. I just, and I, and I also figured out that my email and my cell phone were a big part of the issue.
Did I ever tell you the story of when I used to fucking jerk off into my hand and then put it under my bed and rub it on the carpet? Oh my <laughs> god! When I was like really young, and I did that for like 15 years. No, like 10. And then when we moved, my mom was like, what happened to the carpet? She's like touching it, and I'm like, 